In my previous video, we were looked at the various families of the Simpson 260. I kind of recommended against getting one of the later two versions, the Series 7 or Series 8, like this model, because these two included a reverse banana for the probe interface, and it was just difficult to find probes for this. So I recommended looking for a Series 6. In that video, I thought I had found a solution using these little probe extenders from Pomona, but found they didn't engage well enough to, to make it work. So one of the viewers uh, said, well, you know, maybe it's just the, the extra plastic that's on this uh, adapter that's causing the problem, and uh, why don't we just uh, remove that? So I, I filed off um, one on the red one here and gave that a shot, and certainly it makes it uh, engage deeper, but you'll notice there's a little bit of play in it, so it's not making a good solid contact to the plug on the inside. So, well, almost there, but uh, still not quite. Now, yet another viewer recommended another probe adapter. This one uh, found on Amazon here. And the nice thing is that this little uh, raised shoulder here is small enough to fit in the hole. And, uh, and that works. But, and it still engages the pin, but there's still a little bit of play in it. So it's going to be a little bit of an intermittent connection. So, well, again, close, but no cigar. Now, the problem with these adapters fitting just a little bit loose is that the pin that's in the meter is not exactly like a typical uh, banana plug. Uh, the banana plug has got uh, some kind of leaf springs on the side that give it a good solid connection when you put it into the jack. And the pins that are inside the meter are really just a four, four millimeter straight pin. So they don't have this little spring engagement on it. It turns out we can solve this remaining problem pretty easily. Simply take the adapter and squeeze it ever so slightly with a pair of pliers. Not too much, doesn't take much to distort that cylinder, just enough to make a good interference fit to the pin inside the meter. And now you've got a good snug connection and any banana style plug or jumper can be used on the Simpson 260 Series 7 or Series 8. One final word of caution though, is that obviously by doing this we've kind of bypassed the safety features and the safety reasons why these plugs were used in the first place. So my advice is, if you're going to do this, uh, use this only for the relatively low voltage applications. If you're going to be looking at doing any high voltage work, 250 volt scale, 500, 1000 volt scale, etc., uh, I wouldn't recommend using these because they may not provide you all of the safety protection that a pr the proper leads would when used in those jacks. Another viewer on the previous video pointed out that Probemaster makes a set of test leads that have got the reverse banana plug on them. And they fit the Series 7 and Series 8 Simpson meter. And they're less than $20, so it means less than half the price of the original equipment Simpson leads. So with the availability of some nice leads from Probemaster, or uh, the ability to use some of these banana test lead extenders with a little bit of mechanical persuasion to tighten them up, You've got some really nice options for using a 260 Series 7 and Series 8 and to not have to steer away from the, these meters because of the reverse banana leads. Thanks again to the viewers for the suggestions. That was really super. And thanks again as always for watching. We'll see you next time.